Welcome to Off Grid Shop Oregon. On this channel we do semi-manly stuff like making short handles for big hammers. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks. Alright, here's an old uh, hammerhead I got laying around. It says 18 on it. I think that means pounds. Um, it's seen better days. Like that whole part is just sheared off and something funky going on there and I don't even know if this thing's steel or it's like so old it's cast iron um, I think this is like an innocent man goes to prison in the south in 1920s and they hand him this thing and he's got to break rocks so I'm going to try and clean it up and put a short handle on it All right, I'm gonna try and clean this thing off with a cut brush thing. I'm going to paint the 18 with a paint pen. Hopefully it'll stand out a little better. There we go. Okay, so the only piece of hardwood I have around here is this uh, Pacific U or Western U branch. Um, it's about 20 inches total, so it's longer than a normal hammer's handle. But I think because this thing is 18, or at one point was an 18 pound uh, hammerhead, uh, I think 20 inches will count as a short handle. So I'm going to have to whittle this sucker down with like a hatchet and a machete. I'm sure there's a better way, but I don't know what it is. Well, I don't think I'll ever be doing something like this again, and if I did, I think I'd be getting chainsaw in there, uh, angle grinder in there, but uh, what I've learned with a little bit of trial and error is a sharpie is definitely your friend. Um, you go from the, the small side in, and everywhere you want to chop stuff off, you uh, use your sharpie, because it takes way too long to chop a little off and then test it, chop a little, test it. You want to be like, okay, let's take off a bunch here. Let's take off a bunch there using your Sharpie. And so right now, I've got it that far in. And so in this case, I'm just taking my Sharpie and telling myself I don't have to chop anything below that line. So you can use it to say where you need to chop more and also stop chopping. There you go. Um, you can't fall off that direction. Come down and hurt you and hit your hands, I guess. Um, you know what? I'm gonna pretend this is how I wanted it. Like say I wanted to do this. Boom, boom. Well, if I did want to do that, which I probably don't, I'd be done. So I'm gonna pretend I want to do that. 
And I can always make it bigger. I have no idea what I'm going to be hammering with this thing. So I'm going to stop right there. That was fun. Okay, there's my short-handled hammer. Uh, there's 12 inches of handle there. Got an extra 4 inches below the hammerhead. Hammerhead is uh, 4 inches in diameter. I was looking around if I had some good red spray paint. I think that would have made it look cool. But I don't. I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, I counted the rings on the specific U. It's about focus U. I think it's about 25 to 30 years or something to grow a piece of wood this big. Makes me wonder like how dense hickory is. Uh, one idea I had for maybe using it was you could use it as a uh, semi-portable little anvil. Uh, you have to have the broken side up because otherwise the thing will wobble around. But it's got a good amount of mass so you could put something on there and smack that thing and flatten it between whatever you're hitting it with and I did a little bit of a spark test on this and whatever it is it ain't normal steel I think I think this thing's you know might be a hundred years old and so not exactly cast iron but who knows maybe wrought iron or whatever it was they used back in the day all right thanks uh, and in case you're wondering I uh, I hurt my thumb so I took some uh, aluminum tubing and just fold it over the tip, put some holes in it for air, and uh, I keep it on my thumb using some painter's tape. And it's allowed the wound to heal real good because it keeps it completely dry.